How's it going, everybody? My name is Sean Robinson. And I'm Mike Zawatsky. And we're here at Unique Photo in Fairfield, New Jersey, to bring you a first look at the brand new Olympus OMD EM5 II. That's the second one. Yes, number two. That's right. So we, we've had about a day to play with this camera. Sure. Um, let's, let's enlighten everybody a little bit of uh, what kind of, you know, the main features are with this sure. guy. Well, the uh, EM5 II is the refresh of the original EM5 which was Olympus's uh, original departure from the pen series. Now they still make pen cameras, but they wanted to redesign, rebrand, so they made them look like the old OM film cameras. And they've come out with three different ones, the 10, the more professional one. And so this is the most recent one. They've uh, kept the camera in spirit, the same, it's compact, but while remaining compact, they have taken uh, the buttons and space them out a bit more because that was one complaint. There were, you know, it was a very popular camera, the EM5. Oh, yeah. It was very popular, sold well here, but the biggest complaint was that the buttons were too close together. Yeah. So, with 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 the button, obviously, so that they spaced a lot of stuff out. Sure. They've also made a lot of other major, um, you know, body improvements. Yeah. They weather sealed the whole camera now, so if you're using one of the splash proof lenses, it's it's fully weather sealed. It does you know, seem a bit heavier. Water. It is a little bit heavier. That's a okay trade off. Yeah. You know? But in line with that, they added this high-res mode to the camera now, which I know a lot of people have found online, and they're all questioning, you know, well, what does it do? Sure. So the way this works, it's taking eight images, and it's spacing them out half a pixel every way. Right. And then taking that image and combining it to make about a 40-megapixel image, which really a gives 39. you a couple of pixels. 39.99. 39. Yeah. 39 or something like that. Right. It really gives you a, a nice, crisp image out of the camera, but it does have its drawbacks. You know, if sure. you do a landscape and you got trees moving, you're going to get this or weird artifact. people running through it. the picture. Yeah, people run <laughs> through the picture, cars drive across. So it's really going to find a home in... On a tripod. In, yeah, yeah. De well, uh, uh, definitely on a tripod, but, you know, more for macro work, sure. studio work, still life. Or very still landscapes, like in the desert with no wind. But Exactly. It, it is nice, in my opinion, because uh, Micro Four Thirds has been at 16 megapixels for a while, which is which is fine. You know, I remember when we had a lot less megapixels than that, which still make big prints. So this added resolution is never a bad thing. It's it's a nice feature. Um, Some of the other basic features now, it's got 11 frames per second in silent mode, uh, which is which is a new new build for them. You know, you got this silent quiet mode, the shooting sure. really high res, uh, really high frame rate. Uh, as well as, you know, keeping the, the stabilizer there. It's got the five-axis stabilizer, which is giving you about five stops of uh, handhold capability. No, oh, sorry. One, no, uh, okay. one, one more thing I'd like to mention with the high-res mode is if you take a full-frame lens and get a tilt-shift adapter for a micro four-thirds and combine it with this uh, sensor-shift high-res mode, you can do some really cool architecture stuff as well. I just thought I'd throw that in there. Uh, and then just changing uh, gears a little bit. One reason that I would get this camera over uh, the original version is that the stabilizer it seems even improved. I know yeah. so Olympus has been saying five, five axis stabilizer for a long time, but this one is really, really good. I was shooting with this this morning and yesterday uh, indoors, you know, being a professional, taking pictures of my cat. Internet uh, gold. That's right. Getting him to stay still and for a quarter of a second, eighth of a second. And it, it really helps because, again, one of the knocks on Micro Four Thirds is that you can't shoot at like 6400 ISO and have a really clean image like you could yeah. on a full frame, but with this awesome stabilizer and a fast lens, like I was using the 75 1.8 or like the Panasonic, the Noctocron, the, yeah. the 1.2, those factors combined really help negate the need for a super high ISO. Yeah. Well, with that, this is just our first look. Um, you know, we, we will definitely have more information about this camera coming out in the next couple of days. Um, I encourage everybody that if you want to learn more and you want to hear more about this camera from either uh, Mike Zawatsky or myself, we are always here in the store, as well as we actually have an event scheduled for Friday where we're going to have one of Olympus' product managers come in and, and actually sit down and do a U event live with President Matthew Sweetwood from Unique Photo and give you kind of all the, the nitty gritty about the camera sure. that's beyond what, what we can explain. Right, and I would just, you know, I hope Matt asks Olympus, uh, is this really different? I mean, it does have some nice features, but I'm a little bit concerned that it's, uh, you know, it does have 11 frames per second, but you lose the autofocus between each shot, you lose the stabilizer, and you lose uh, exposure metering. So it's still, it's, I wouldn't say this camera's innovative, it's just a nice refresh of something Olympus already has. Yeah. So be sure to check us out, stop in, talk to Mike Z or myself, and we'll be happy to help you out. See you next time.